What might be considered the future of the recycling industry has found a new home here in the Twin Cities. Demcom Companies is a recycling plant in Shakopee. It recently installed a robot to help sort items. Only the second plant in the country to have the new technology. WCCO's Jeff Wagner explains why it's needed and how it's actually getting better with experience. Many hands make light work. And in the recycling world, you need a lot of them. At Demcom Companies, we also rely very heavily on manual separations. President Bill Keegan wishes he had more of them. In Shakopee, it's very challenging because we have a low unemployment rate. We've got an unemployment rate of about 3%. So, with jobs to fill and not enough people to hire, Keegan turned to automation. Is this the robot? This is the robot. This super speed sorter picks out containers coming across the conveyor belt. It's around 60 picks per minute. And thanks to artificial intelligence, it's getting better at its job every day. It starts looking at hundreds of images, then thousands of images, then tens of thousands of images, and builds its database to get more and more efficient at what it recognizes. Anything it misses gets snagged up by human workers down the line. But the machine's quick thinking left people on tour impressed. And this robotics thing is just phenomenal. Just sitting there and sorting and pulling that stuff out. It's, and was there only two of them, I think, in the country? Well, this is automated. Keegan feels automation is the future of recycling, but he says humans will always have a hand in the industry. We're still going to have to have jobs to be able to monitor the robots, maintain the robots. The robots aren't going to be able to do everything that the humans can. Jeff Wagner, WCCO 4 News.